So as the most of you guys know by now is that I work as a professional photographer on a daily basis. And then when a camera company asks me if I want to test a camera's features on a motorcycle, then you're up for a treat. A lot of you guys have asked me how do I get shots like this in my videos and there is a simple answer. 360 video. No, I don't have a follow car cause I don't have that type of budget like the team over at Chase on Two Wheels but oh boy I wish I had. So Insta360 did not only send me their latest top model but they actually also sent me their whole arsenal of accessories. So instead of just talking about this camera, I will in this video show you how to film yourself in the 10 best ways on a motorcycle. So just to be clear, I am not sponsored by Insta360 nor have I been paid to say these things I'm about to say in this video, but they did send me the camera with all the amazing accessories, but I have been a fan and using 360 cameras for a couple of years by now. So I am pretty sure I'm going to like this one because as far as I know, Insta360 is the top notch camera in that category of action camera sized 360 cameras. But before we jump out on the bike, let me just show you all the accessories they sent me that makes it possible to get all of these crazy angles while riding and probably that's also the reason why they are the best in their category. First of all, we have the camera itself and it films up to 5.7K with 24 frames per second and of course with this 360 angle double lens. Steadicam mode, in camera stabilization, waterproof down to 10 meters, a four mic setup so it actually records audio all the way around the camera. An ultra bright round display in the front of the camera, hyperlapse mode, voice control, and then the coolest thing since sliced bread, the invisible selfie stick. That means when filming with this stick attached to the bottom, then it stitches out the stick itself when recording. And that is actually the reason why you're able to achieve this flying camera look. So I promise it's not magic, it's just amazing software. And if you haven't figured out yet by now, the cool thing about 360 cameras is that they film everything around you, which is so freaking awesome when doing moto vlog style of content. Cause not only are you able to film yourself, but you're also able to film your bodies that you're riding with, or if actually anything happens while riding, then you have an angle of that all the time. And then you can even edit on the fly on their app so just by moving around while it records your movement in the app so you can get those TikTok videos or Instagram Reels videos out in a hurry. And I will later in this video show you how the app works because it is, it is magnificent in what I am normally used to with 360 video. Next up, I received this unicorn helmet mount, which has to sit on top of your helmet, of course. And then with a good long extension rod in metal to again achieve this flying camera look. And uh, the nice thing about these accessories is that you're not only able to use it with this mount, you can actually deattach this and use other places on your bike as well. Then there is the helmet mount bundle which allows you to mount the camera on the side of your helmet. It comes with a lot of pieces so you don't run short on them as well. And then we have the selfie stick that I talked a little bit about before and in this case I actually got two of them. And for me that are using 360 video cameras all the time, it is super convenient. So I always have a spare one if anything happens or if I just need a quick angle another place on the bike, I don't have to demount all the accessories, I can just use another selfie stick. Here we have the motorcycle 
mount bundle and this is actually right here the most important part of this bundle and this this is a must have together with the selfie stick it comes with this clamp mount which makes it so freaking easy to mount it anywhere on your bike and especially today when a lot of the motorcycle brands are using trellis frame so insanely easy and it is exactly here where it's only your imagination that sets the limit on where on your bike you can place this a huge huge recommendation from here then there is this helmet chin mount where you are able to mount the camera to the chin of your helmet without using these adhesive patches or if you have a helmet with a odd shape in the chin area then we have this and uh, now I'm not talking about the camera because I was just as excited to see this than the camera itself because what this is this is an aluminum frame that protects your Insta360 camera and this actually comes from a very respected brand in the photography world called Small Rake and I actually didn't know they were producing this for this one X2 camera but Small Rake they produce aluminum frames for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and I actually have one on on the camera that I'm filming this with I have been using a Small Rake for years and last but not least, I got this hip belt in a much better quality than anticipated. But what this huge mount does is that you are able to mount the camera to yourself or to your backpack for that matter. So enough for the rambling from me, let's just gear up and go outside and I need some very warm clothes because it is still winter here in Denmark, but that is not gonna hold me away from creating content for you guys. So the first one is the one I call the follow drone. Mount it as long as possible in the back of your motorcycle and then full extension. It really creates this look like that there was drone following you while riding. This is one of the setups I use the most. Next up is the follow car. And because I don't have the budget for one, then being able to mount the camera to the side of my frame, then you are able to achieve the same look. Just remember not to hit anything with the camera flying on the side with you. What we have here is the ultimate motoblock. This is the most awesome way to motoblock. You don't need to have anything attached to your helmet and now you can film yourself but also the road in front of you. This is my go-to setup when doing first rides. Then we have the unicorn and just like the name that is how you're going to look. But it really does give you a unique angle while riding. The mount on top of your helmet has an awesome build quality so you won't feel anything dragging in your helmet when going fast. Mount the camera as low as possible and then you will get the wheel view. A very cool angle cause it is so close to the ground so it really gives you this feeling of how fast it's going. When seeing the asphalt just disappearing out of the frame. This setup is amazing on the track day. This one I call the backpack. But for two reasons. Mount it to your hip like it was a bag or simply around your backpack and then go as high as you can with the Insta360. This also gives you the feeling of the camera flying around on top of your head. This is the MotoGP style cuz, yeah, you know why. Maybe not so much with a fat backpack as I have to have with me on a shoot, but without, it really gives you this feeling of being a passenger on the ride. I call this one for the peekaboo. Mount it on top of your tank and in the middle and then you will have this view of your speedometer and then the surroundings around it. Remember that this is an angle that is nice to have together with some of the others so you have multiple angles to edit. Number 9 is the bold one and probably my favorite cause mount it in the same way as the ultimate motovlog and then go with full extension with the selfie stick and then you will have this sick view of you riding your bike 
it really creates an angle where it's really hard to tell how the freaking hell you were able to film that. Last but not least we have the edits. Here I'm going to show you a creative way to use the Insta360 app where you are able to edit all of your films on the fly. Super easy interface that gives a lot of sense when you have played with it for a couple of minutes. But this app is not only for editing your 360 content in a traditional way, cause they also have this tutorial page where you can pick and choose from different themes. And the one I'm going to show you is called the Clone Trail. Set up the Insta360 ONE X2 on a little tripod and then do a classic flyby. Then just by clicking on the bike in the app, then it will create this freaking awesome clone trail video in a matter of seconds. So that was 10 ways to film yourself while riding your motorcycle and a little pro tip from a person who has done a lot of 360 recordings in the past. Always make sure that one of the lenses is facing the main subject you are filming. Cause it is software that is stitching up the 360 video. And even though it really don't happen as often, glitches can happen in the matter of milliseconds. So just remember to have one of the lenses facing the main subject. And then always remember to line up all the mounts straight underneath the camera itself so you don't get this weird looking image where the camera can stitch up the mount underneath a huge recommendation from me and if you want to buy one of these bad boys i have an affiliate link in the description and it's not going to be more expensive for you by any means but buying via that link then you will support me and the channel so that was it folks, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and if you're new here, welcome, it is so nice to see you. That was it, see ya.